Be me Alpha Legion Apothecary Neris. Yes, we even have an apothecary here. This is probably the third biggest cell we have in the entire Milky Way. Get brought a gene stealer in stasis. The guy is missing his oviposter. How does a tyrannid even loosen an oviposter but nothing else? Alpharius works in mysterious ways. Beta. This Jenna stealer is basically useless to us without that tongue. Decide to let him loose beside a hormigaunt we captured last week in our testing cage. Literally just a big hole covered in adamantium that we throw things in and bet on who gets wounded more. Maybe he'll use the bioform to make himself a new tongue. Tell the squad what's gonna happen, they seem sad but then excited once I tell them about the test. I'm betting 200 omega bucks on that gene stealer, he better not let me down. Be gene stealer. Wake up next to the hormigaunt. Use weak psychic field from being a barely patriarch to say hey. Hormigaunt says hey. Hormigaunt share some common ground with gene stealers, but unlike gene stealers, they are more horde inclined. They can still operate independently, but not as well. I tell the Hormigaunt I need some of its biomass. It allows me to to bite some meat off its flank and manipulate it onto my tongue stump. The specialized tyrannic biology recognizes familiar biomass and latches on. Brand speaking new ovipositor.diy. Observe surroundings. Covered pit. Covering seems metallic. Remember that I am in fact, a gene stealer, and my rending claws can tear through ceramite and adamantium. Remember that outside the covering, there are many large armored humans with large guns. Weighing options while petting Hormigaunt. The Apothecary. A few squads of Alpha Legionnaires are watching the intense battle between the two Tyranids. And by intense I mean they are basically cuddling after the gene stealer took a nibble out of the Hormigaunt. Everyone is fucking bored. Even the gene stealer seems bored with our attempts at making him fight. I however think that he may have recovered his tongue and my personal test may have been a success, but who knows. Tell the squad to break the loved birds up and to shoot the hormigaunt and throw in that water cast TAU we captured last week as a joke. Be me, Sybarite Drazer. Walking down a street bored out of my mind. Bodies of various factions all over the place. Share the sacred Dark Elder tradition of looting the dead and stash caches all over the place with weapons and other shit. Manage to find some good old drugs on a corpse of a trueborn. And a better sword so it's all good. Maybe I'll find another jet bike. But life loves to be complicating. And by complicating I mean it seems to have it out for me. Dodge 4 different patrols from 4 different factions. One of which was the succubus and friends. Hopefully I find something to do later. But until then, I walk a lonely road. The only road that I have ever known. Fuck I need to find a mate or something. A nice female to conquer a slice of the web way with. Maybe one of the witches? Fuck maybe. God I need some social contact. Be Palatine Sarah. In the main shaft elevator to the lower undercity excavations. Several other sisters of the golden light and the descending cage checking weapons. Sister Marisol spins the barrels on her rotary stubber in a test. Sister Hanny drops two massive six bore cartridges into an old fashioned shotgun. Left the ermine mantle and black sepulchre sisters after receiving reports from underground. Several troopers in a PDF exploration team were killed by explosives set deep in the tunnels. Casualties were light. But necrons and tyranids don't use mines. Pull icebreaker from its sheath and look at it as the light grows dim and the lanterns light up. I am the Emperor's Justice. Be Drafter. Be still alive surprisingly. Seems Bugfucker didn't like it when its rape victims fight back, my axe got a few good bites in. Honestly feeling pretty hot right now. No like actually, I'm really hot WTF. Start panting. Feel my body's temperature rising. Aching all over, primarily in my chest, where I was shot, and in my mouth, where I was bite. Feth I'm sweating a bloody ocean here dodgif. Have to lean against wall for support. Steady now. Easy. Don't know how long passes by. Feel an urge to vomit, yet also really hungry. Ugh, what the hell was with the bug? This is what happens without protection.jpg. Can't stop now though. Gotta keep going up, gotta get back to the surface. Look down. See the bit of the bug I bit off. It's still squirming. Bloody Xenos. Kinda looks tasty. Dut. I've been down here way too long. Keep on moving, hoping to get above sooner rather than later. 
Keep feeling like something is watching me. Be me, Sybarite Draza. When I prayed to the gods for social contact, I meant other elder. Not a fucking tyrannid. Especially not a fucking gene stealer. Activate shadow field. Completely unprepared for the utter blackness. Vision clears and is just a light haze. Draw good sword and splinter pistol and start shooting at the thing. Immediately turn tail and book it. Occasionally shoot behind me without looking. Hopefully the poison slows the thing down. Already looks beat up so it should at least do something. Decide fuck it and call the nearest patrol. With my dumb luck it just so happens to be the succubus and company. She seems exited. But somewhat relieved. Turn around and see thing gaining. Must go faster. Hellion. B Palatine Sarah. Didn't even make it to the site where the PDF troopers were killed before finding signs of a struggle. Blood splatters. Recognize the patterns. Someone had a bad run in with a chain blade. Sister Hanny says the off colored blood is a tyrannids. Two sets of intermittent tracks in opposite directions, one guard issue boots and one digitigrade claws. Sister Marisol asks which one we should follow. Idly run fingers over the scar on my throat. Choose the boots. The original commissar. Trying to sleep in Bane Blade made home top part is my room while bottom part is future me room after meeting with sisters and still waiting for the governess to call a meeting about the alpha facts. Continually disturbed by emperor awful screaming from whatever the fuck is running around the streets in this hellhole. I swear one of the screams sounds like a nib trying to fuck an elder. Other me gets tired of this bullshit and fires the main cannon into the sky to get everything to shut up. Work for about an hour before some other form of fuckery wakes us up from non-important shit. Sweat to the emperor I am going to park my mobile home inside the governess's mansion if this continues. Such is life on this hellhole when everything is not on fire. Be drafter. Be the last crasher. Be hungry. Don't know where it's come from, but I have a nagging hankering for something to eat. Whatever, push the thought aside, can eat later, when I get back up top. Body still burning, feels like I'm dealing with the worst flu of my life. Still keep pushing on. Ain't no rest.mp3. At least I'm making some progress, since I'm actually on a level they bothered to light. Well I mean, flickering, mostly shatter lumens counts right? Trying to be positive.gif. Still feel like I'm being watched. Like there's something in the corner of my eye. Until wait. Alert.mp3. There is. See a figure coming from the gloom. It's a woman, looking disheveled and holding a pair of tyrannid claw knives. Deja vu.png. Except, she isn't rushing me screaming yet. Heft up my axe just in case, but she does something creepier. She starts smiling, and crying. Hear her whisper, almost softly. Brother. She's right in front of me. How did she get here? Vision is getting blurry. Hunger is back, but feel something else. As she takes my hand, I fell, nice. The start of a smile starts forming on my lips. The face when finally meets someone who understands .png. She's still smiling, embracing me. Heart beating oh so fast. Can hear her whispering into my ears. With many voices. So nice. So comforting. I could just. It's like I've met my family again. Family. Dot. Anger. Out of nowhere. Chest is burning, heart pumping, blood like molten fury. This isn't real. This isn't genuine. This isn't my family. Hunger is still there, the sense of kinship too, but it's useless. My rage burns hotter than any love can match. Embrace ends. Feel my hands wrap around her throat. Voices, still so soft, protesting, gently trying to coax me back into the family. It doesn't make any difference. Soon enough, they stop too. Dot. Vision clears. Head pounding. Hands are covered in blood. Look down at what's left of the woman. Decide to keep moving. The fever rises. I need to get out. I'm Bridget. Been patrolling for over an hour now. Special bird eyes caught sight of an incoming venom with a few elders on it. Finally. I'm going to catch that elder turd and show him just what I think about people who go around shooting saints. The venom slows down and lowers down to the street. I see him, he's running to get on it. And something's chasing him. Some weird kind of tyrannid. Well, 
I don't like people that shoot me but I like Tyranids a whole lot less. I drop into a dive and raise my sword to burn it with a nice holy fire laser beam. Be Gene Stealer. Sense the actions of the problem child. He's slipping in and out of it all. I send a portion of my small psychic power towards him in an attempt to pull him further into the family and to compel him to breed. Once he sires a spawn, he'd be fully accepted into the family. Using most of my psychic energy to attempt to get Dratha to learn to stop worrying and love the family, I settle down within the sewers to rest and heal. Be me, Sybarite Drazer. Currently running for dear life. Tyranid hot on my heels. Shadowfield makes it jump at. Well shadows. See Venom overhead. Safe from nids, but still have to deal with succubus and company. Hear flapping of wings. Scourges? No too large. But what else has wings on fee? Laser beam cuts from the sky and scorches the ground. Oh. Oh no. It's back. Increase speed towards Venom. Wych is yelling for me to hurry. I fucking am you cunts. Jump onto my savior. Go 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 go. The driver slams the throttle. But nothing happens. He tries again. Nothing. Monkey Scourge is bearing down on us. Remember the lessons I was taught in Calibite class. If you and your squad face a foe you are unable to take down, with no sign of reinforcements inbound, and no better options, the best thing you can do is... Scatter. Driver bails. Wyches are already gone. Succubus is running to cover. I'm moving. But I'm bumfuck tired thanks to the Jenna Stealer. Hop out of the useless transport sluggishly. Pray to the laughing god that he takes some mercy on my soul. If I make it though this I'm running off and joining the circus. Be Palatine Sarah. Following the boot tracks. We're not far behind but it's slow going. The tunnel floors don't make for consistent footprints. Keep coming to sections with hard floors or wooden walkways and having to backtrack to find where the trail continues. The tracks themselves are erratic. See where he pushed up against a wall to steady himself. Injured? There's no blood anywhere. Turn a corner. There's a body there, crumpled to the floor. A woman. Strangled, to say the least. Signs of a struggle, but not as much as one would expect. Sister Hanny examines the body. She jumps back suddenly, says something abrupt about Jenna Steelers. She and Sister Barisol want to stay, to check for hidden tunnels. I tell them that we can call the guard and the PDF to sweep the passageway. They insist. If there's an infestation here, it takes priority. I pause, look back at the trail, set my hand on the hilt of Icebreaker. I tell them to stay and warn the sisters on the surface while I follow the trail on my own. Be me operator master of the Alpha Legion. My name is Garris, Harkon Garris. Had to scrap a whole bunch of plans but we've had a pretty productive day. Brainstorming session went well, we've decided rather than to assassinate a representative, we will instead get a fleet of TAU to assault the world in order to cause a solid distraction instead. Using this water cast diplomat we kidnapped a while back in the first invasion. We'll give him directives to send a huge fleet on the premise that this world is quite amicable towards the TAU and only the guard on the planet is holding them back. We have a curler ship that we'll send out towards TAU space with this water cast boy board and his big to do list. Once he's back, he will instantly start gaining traction for himself, ranking himself up and keeping himself safe, so he can give us some nice opportunities in the future. And the clincher is he won't even remember any of this happened, only that he was being shot by the guard on his way out and the fire warriors held them off long enough to allow him to escape. What heroes faint? Regardless, this plan should definitely work and will definitely not fail, like the other 15 attempts to distract everyone on this planet at once. Be me, Drafter. Be the last crasher. Be hungry. Be angry. Be horny. Why boner.gif? Most of all tired. Still aching. Just. Come into a larger chamber. Lots of pillars about. Clearly a sub-level in an underground transport station. Hep, I think I used to take this tram before the war started. Stumble over towards pillar, lean up against it. Look up towards stairs. Almost there. Can feel a breeze coming. Just. Need to focus, need to push on further. But first a break. A little break. Be planetary governess, former cultist. 
Remember how my dad told the story how our cult was started here by a minus Lana she wore band named the Ternary Whims. Who from time to time would bring gifts or inspired us to intrigue against or for certain persons. Always speaking about the pleasures of perfection in planning. Everybody bought that, just thought they were some scalies, but hey each Lana she its own right? At least I thought that. I may be a bit dumb sometimes and love getting handholded silly by babe, but there might be something greater going on. Try to explain this to folks, of course I tell it away, that I still were a poor victim of my father. Lisa Rebadden KPNG. I really should pray more often or spill more blood of his enemies, to make the emperor happy with me. Also some of this nobler guard folks is here, guy looks competent so far, but his dialect is a bit weird. Be me, Eccleshire he youngster bishop. These mechanicus are stroking my arm with the same vigorous dedication the governess displays when stroking my hair to calm me down. Stranger danger dodgif. The governess relays another story of the horrors and hardships she had to face under the wicked rule of her father. The fact that my angel was able to maintain her innocence and dedication to the emperor under what must have been terrifying experiences for her is amazing. It could only be through the grace of the emperor that she was shielded from what must have been a home dominated by drug fueled orgies. I believe in miracles. Voxcast. We head outside and the details of what an alpha legion is and their plot are relayed. The whole thing sounds vaguely unbelievable to me. Accuse me of heresy? I just accuse them of heresy. I am the Lord. Chosen one. But, the whole thing sounds pretty easy to solve to me. Marine chapters should be notified and encouraged to stay outside the cities. It's not like some 7 foot monster can just sneak around amongst us unnoticed. Marines stand out. Notify our respective organizations of the threat. And we just agree to stick together in the face of any outside accusations. Unless they're made against the future commissar of course. I see you demon. Wall. End my speech by splashing the future commissar with holy water. His survival does not prove his innocence. Bephesus. Woo woo hoo hoo ye are. How don like me now. So it turns out that this weird elder gun is really damn good. It just goes through anything and fucks up what's inside. Big nids, small nids, armored nids, naked nids, it don't matter. They all get vaporized. Man you know, I thought clearing out this nid hive was going to be a pain in the ass. But thanks to the present from our little knife id friend, it was as easy as pie. Of course the damn thing did run out of ammo eventually, but at that point I could throw it back into the hearse and jump in to help clear things up with the others. Between the hotshots the chain rapiers and whatever else, the survivors went down easy as pie. Some of the sisters had sullen looks about it on the ride back but whatever, they can't deny how effective it was. We didn't lose a single man or woman. Although actually that may be what they're all upset about, always talking about death and the like. Whatever, if they wanna become martyrs, they can do so on their own time, but while I am around, we're gonna fight smarter, not harder. I mean we're still gonna fight hard, but fighting smart is the priority. Anyways, the goth girls hold up their end of the deal and agree to deliver us back to camp. Specifically the side door of Shed 17. By the time we get back to base it's already daytime. Don't have to worry about sneaking in though, because any guard who knows what's good for him knows that you don't grill sisters of battle. When we get back and get everything unloaded we thank them, and recommend they get their hearse a proper repair. I don't envy being the one who has to talk to the tech priests after Marcus repairs, especially the fact that it works almost as good as theirs, but it ought to be done. Anyways once we get everything in Sedek we crack open the crates and find, a bunch of Blood Raiden themed guard equipment. The punchline to this awful joke of a night. Be me, the best seneschal in the Ekelshiarchy. And this all sounds very bad for business. Well, the part about the Alpha Legion sounds bad for business. The part about the governor's or of a daughter being an innocent servant of the emperor. I actually can't help but laugh as she relays a very sanitized version of events to the little dope. I just thought of some thing funny dodgif. I wonder what the little maniac is going to do if he ever finds out the truth. Someone should really try to get that flamer away from him at some point. If only to prevent collateral damage. The planet is still have chart from his first little tantrum a holy crusade. Whatever you say PNG. Anyway, if we want to keep making money here this scheme can't be allowed to happen. Suggest limiting salvage rights and rogue trader access to those I can personally vouch for. 
wouldn't want some guy working with the Alpha Legion doing business on this planet. Especially because I stand to make way more if I can limit access. B Sister Maria. We're riding back to the cathedral's motor pool after a successful night's purging. In no small part because of the serendipitous assistance provided by a few friends. Some of my sisters are upset that our reinforcements increased our chances of success, denying them the death they crave. I remind them that the Emperor's will determines when we join him in the void, and that it's clearly his will that we fight for him another day. They are mollified, for now. My only concern is over the Xenos weapon the good sergeant put to good use in flushing out the last nest. He insisted on taking it with him, even when we told him it'd be no trouble for us to have it destroyed. I have no doubts as to his loyalty to him on Terra, but I fear others may take it as a sign of heretical inclinations. I would truly hate to have to purge them over it, it would be a most undignified end. But perhaps I'm worrying about them too much. I'm sure the Emperor will guide them to the righteous deaths they deserve. B Steel Legionnaire. Hear about Gene Stealer infestation. Witten for Thronese that JPG. Ask Commissar. Not shot immediately, and he says they're Xenos. Should be easy to find. Squad is deployed to some Xenos hideout. Not Gene Stealers, but Elder. Look almost exactly like they do in the primer. Not what expected PNG. Chimera open up on some weird bony looking robot. It fucking explodes. We make short work of the small elder camp. I even get a souvenir. Take one of those redstones from a dead Xenos. Go back to fog. Day is good. Be Gene Stealer. Be now well rested and healed of all wounds. Axe wounds from bad boy Drathalab's card. Scars are rather distinctive. Hum. I named myself Scar the Jenna Stealer. Be Scar. I check up on the brood brothers and sisters. They have spread quite prolifically. There are now close to 100 carrying the Jenna Stealer infection. Doing the hive mind's work. Pride. Because of warp powers and mutation, the mothers of the first generation appear to be 3 months pregnant even though it's been like, a day. Whoa, that is sure convenient. Hope it doesn't do something bad to the babies. Concern. Time to look a little higher. I send out a psychic message to the both the brood brothers good at fighting except the problem child of course, he still resists the family and the sexiest brood brothers. Sexiest brood brothers put on the sluttiest clothing they can find and begin Operation Brood Brasa Hoss. Gene Stealer Pimp.png. Take the strongest brood brothers to go ambush a patrol of the local PDF Astra Militarum Regiment. Be Marcus. Be napping behind the shed. The good thing about not technically been a part of the guard and not getting paid, is that no one keeps track of where you are because you're not technically even supposed to be there. And you can slack off all you want. I usually feel kinda bad about slacking off but, fuck it, the guard boys can handle themselves for a little while, and quite frankly, we deserve a little rest after the busy night we've had. I swear Fessus was about to blow a gasket when we saw that we had risked our lives and freedom for a bunch of crates blood raven colored guardsman equipment. Well at least Phil was wrong about it being sinister. Fess probably would have gotten the attention of the whole damn camp if I hadn't point blunted out we still had a weird elder rifles. Those things always sell for a pretty penny. There's always some edgy ganger or quister who thinks he's hot shit and wants to carry around edgy heretical xenotech they don't know how to use like a special little snowflake. Or some screwy toaster molester who thinks they'll be the one to crack the xenotech code save the imperium and become big, damn, rich and famous heroes. Those sorts of yahoos always pay top dollar for this shit. Seth ought to be able to find a buyer no sweat. Just waiting on payday. Still kinda worried about the boxes though. Why would gangers be stealing guard equipment and repainting them with magpie colors? What the bloody hell could they possibly do with it? Charge the Blood Raven fan club exorbitant prices for it. Fuck it, this sort of question is above my pay grade, which is currently nothing. Well call Commander Morgenson later and tell him about it. In any case he should appreciate the gift. Right now though, I've still got a few more hours of sleep to catch up on. BTAU watercast. Be on ship. How did I get on this ship? Last thing I remember is being shot at by various humans. My head hurts. Why was I even on that damn planet? Oh right, to check if they would accept the greater good. They seemed pretty amicable to it actually. Only the planetary defense forces were against it, brainwashed to their creed as they were. Wait, 
Is that right? My head hurts. Yes, that must be right. I got on this ship after fleeing the planet's soldiers. Escort is dead, and I need to get back to the Empire. Tell them to send a big fleet. We need to wipe out all the guardsmen there. Then the people will accept the greater good. This is very important because, now, my head hurts. Still, very important. Must be some very important value to that planet that I can't think of at the moment. Anyways, onto the Empire. Be me. Primer is Captain Marek Avalon, second company captain for the Broken Shields chapter of Space Marines. Have to take a repulsive transport to the governor's palace, as there is apparently something going on that I need to be informed about. In person. Better be important. Voxcast. Arrive there, alongside my company apothecary, chaplain, both librarians, and a squad of intercessors. All of whom are Primaris Marines. We upgraded. See you us. Bishop, Governess, Canoness of the Ermine Mantle, and both the original, and a future version of the Commissar who led the defense of this world. Apparently. Someone bought the farm, and forgot to mention that there's still Alpha Legionaries on planet. And they're fucking shit up in ways we don't yet understand. Chaos. Dot Vox. Have a bad taste in my mouth from this. Chaos, is of course, my chapter's greatest enemy. It caused the Codex to be created, and the Legions to be split into chapters. We hate the Codex. Ergo, we despise Chaos with all our hearts. Especially when you remember that those traitor scum attacked our chapter world during the Horus Heresy. Want to immediately throw both the Commissars out the window, snap the governor's neck, and break the spine of Bishop, for letting this information slip past them. Canonus is alright. Offer the use of my entire company of 250 marines, to purge these vile scum and put a stop to their scheming. I am gonna need extra bolters for this heresy.png. Be Scar the Gene Stealer. Be sneaking about with strongest boys and girls of the brood while the other boys and girls of the brood are about spreading the love for fun and profit. Be crawling through tunnels and climbing over buildings, keeping to darkness and cover. Spot a squad of drunk soldiers. Maybe PDF. Maybe Guardsmen. Who honestly knows the difference at this point? We descend upon them. The broodlings restrain them, and one by one I make them stare into my hypnotic eyes before I implant the seed within them. Creepy alien dot just misunderstood. Return to the shadows as the soldiers stumble to their feet. Teehee, they can't remember that encounter at all. Go to remember the hypnosis thing. It makes all this so much easier. Crawl away as guardsmen decide they kind of just collectively fell over and get back to their off-duty shenanigans, hoping to get as much in before they have to get back to work. Be me, Oswald the Ultima loves Heldrakes, Blood Bowl player. Been spending the last four days playing Blood Bowl, sorry. Peace Ball, with some of the refugees, because the bishop is paying you too. Fuck my coach. I didn't sign up for this shit. Instead of being on the field, killing ourselves from other teams, I'm here teaching kids how to play a shittier version of Blood Bowl. Everyone is covered in so much fucking bubble wrap, that every time they fall to the ground, they bounce right on their feet. Fuck this shit dot Vox. The worst part is, is he's using the Vox network to stream these games to the population for morale boosts. Fuck morale. I haven't gotten to kill anybody in almost 6 months. The only upside, is I'm getting paid 10,000 thrones per match. Most of which end after 5 minutes, after some kid starts crying because he got pushed down. Man up, fuckers. You live in a tent, in a shitty hole in the ground, that used to be my team's once glorious looking, ice blood bowl stadium. Swear if I ever see that bishop, I'm gonna break his neck. B.I. Elvish, spirit seer of same hand. Be riding along atop my faithful high and dog. The tundra around me is pretty boring, just snow, snow and, you guessed it, more snow. No wonder Monkey call this world cold shoulder gif. However, I can feel the approach of my destination, and that's got me excited. Send a pulse of thought to the Heim dog to alter our court and home and on the location. Keep going for bit, then halt. Now we start digging. Where are some squats when you need em.gif? Heim dog begins digging down into the snow. Priscilla stands up and keeps watch. I remain comfy in my seat of fluff and warmth while all this is going on. Perfect teamwork.jpg. Hear a clang from below, pulse a thought to my loyal pet to stop. Hop down, 
Look into the hole. Oh, Jerion grants them mercy. Gif. See the Wraith Knight. It's been here for a while. Lost in battle, it came crashing down into the earth, and with this planet's weather, was buried. Don't know how long it's been here, doesn't matter now. Slide down into the hole, hands moving in a series of symbols I could explain, but I doubt your monkey brains would understand. Spot what I'm searching for. Within the shattered cockpit of this war machine, lays one of my kin. Only mostly dead. MP3. See the twin pulsating stones that lay behind him, worked into the construct. Gently pry them free, and connect with their thoughts. Time to recover them. Return up top, have high and dog bury the wraith knight, we can recover it later, or it will break down, doesn't matter. Take the twin spirit stones, and place them upon Rysellia's wraith good frame, for safekeeping. We found two, need to get more. Can only imagine it's going to get harder from here. Be ethereal. Be lording over some supplicant TAU of the lesser castes. Living the good life. Probably mind control. Suddenly this water cast comes in. Why do we even still have these guys? Diplomacy rarely works on humans these days. Well, at least not diplomacy with words. Various sexy tau.jpg says there's this planet we need to go to. Easy grab for the empire he says. This damn planet has been fought over for no reason by literally everybody. We even sent a few guys and gals there, but they got blown up. Look at the water cast like. Why would we even want this? He says that there's a bunch of important stuff, why would they fight over it if it was just a worthless rock? Kind of got to concede the point to him on that. Why would rational thinking beings fight over a worthless rock like that? Ring up the fire cast guys under my command. Yo, Shazo. There's this planet. Go clear it of hostiles. Of course he agrees. Or maybe she? Not sure, never bothered to check. Water cast chicks are much better, they gotta know what the other species like, and boy howdy, do the other species like some good shit. Oh yeah, water cast guy is still here. I tell him to head on back to that planet before the far cast get there. See if there's any female leaders on that planet willing to hit his wrinkly blue ass. Water cast seems confused. I sigh and tell him to do the more intimate arts of diplomacy. Idiot doesn't seem to get it. Go out and fuck some aliens bitches for the glory of the ethereals, I say. Ooh.mp3. Idiot scampers off. I go back to the hot blueberries I've picked from all the different casts. Living the good life. Wrinkly blue smile. Be me, Medithab Synthium, Cultist of Slanesh. Well, possibly a high priestess or some shit now, I seem to recall a lot of the senior members getting purged. Last I remember clearly was having an orgy with the governor's or of a daughter and a whole bunch of other nobles and bigwigs on some ice planet. Wake up with a demonette screaming bloody murder inside my aching skull. As if the hangover wasn't already bad enough. Stagger to my feet while waiting for the demonette to start making some sense. Apparently I'm in some kind of ruin house, surrounded by rotting corpses. Most of them are weeks dead at least. A couple of them look like some of the guys I was partying with. Why can I never remember the best parties? Oh, and apparently I'm on some other planet now. At least, I'm pretty sure there should be a lot more snow outside the window. I start being able to make out some of what the screaming in my head is about. Apparently those order of the bitching scarf sisters are on this planet as well, and I'm supposed to corrupt them. Fuck my life. Tentacles. Grab some passable clothes and stagger out of the ruin. First things first, I need to score some drugs. Be canonous. Smoke a LHO stick nice and slow. Avoid a breakdown. More precisely, avoid burning some imperial servants alive. Long overdue for some stress relief. Wonder if the mirror commissars would be up for sharing someone between them. Decide against it. They're probably too pussy. Get an emergency vox transmission. Sisters of the Golden Light uncovered evidence of Jenna Steeler infestation. Hey, of course, why the fuck not? Alpha Legion was a layup, we need more than that going on or we'll all get bored. Tell the commissars. Tell them to tell the governors. Start issuing orders to the sisters and to the guard. Full deployment. Everyone is getting screened. Everyone. Be future commissar. After a long night of getting no sleep me and the original version of myself were summoned to a beating by the governess. 
It was probably the only normal experience I had in a while up until the part where some of those huge ass chad marines arrived and started getting livid when they heard about the Alpha Legion. I swear he was planning on throwing me out the window for missing the fact the Alpha Legion was here. Decided not to inform him about the fact everybody was here at one point which makes it hard to distinguish who you are shooting at. It only went downhill from there when I was informed by the original me that the canoness was looking at us with what can be described as desire. Was hoping that out of all of them the canoness wouldn't be the one with the weird interest but start thinking she might be into some weird twin thing. Would say heresy but given her status and the fact she was the one to bail me out from the ex-governor's plans just concluded it's a weird interest. Do take not to avoid canoness or at the very least one of us finds a different waifu so canoness will only try to seduce one of us. Meeting ends with Cyborg Bishop throwing holy water at me. Could see the surprise in his eyes when I just stood there mildly annoyed about my jacket getting wet. Then the moment I got back to my bane blade turned home we get informed that there are gene stealers on the planet. Start organizing every guard on the planet and recall all the cold shoulder regiments back home to help contain the newest annoyance. Only went further downhill when a TAU diplomat arrived to serenade the female authority figures. Could already tell the bishop is probably going to go on a rampage due to somebody trying to steal his waifu. Canonis will probably do something worse give her current stress level and Azino trying to woe her. Things are about to get interesting. Scholar. Be Scar the gene stealer. Be scurrying about the underground, ordering brood brothers to do their things. Check up on brood brother and sister prostitution racket. It's going well. Proud dot pimping. Receive psychic alert. Grandchildren. Scurry along toward underground hovel. Inside two of the children are there. One is female and currently going into labor. Psychic powers have accelerated gestation to a truly astounding speed. Seriously, this chick was impregnated yesterday. Babies. Zoom. Birth is finished. It's a beautiful baby gene stealer hybrid. It already has little teeth and a bulbous head and razor sharp claw at the end of one of its three arms. Doll.happy grandparent. Be Palatine Sarah. The Tyranid passage ends with an exit through the cement into the abandoned transit tunnels. He's heading to the surface. The floor is concrete. Wave the lantern around, looking for disturbed dust. Nothing. No tracks. He's going to get away. Break into a run. See the transit station. The stairs leading to the surface. Damn. Finding him in the city will be a hell of a lot more difficult. Take a running jump onto the platform. And, there he is. The feared traitor with armor made from butchered tyrannids. Sitting propped against one of the pillars. Chain axe on the ground. A small pool of odd colored vomit next to him. How fucking pitiful. The emperor's justice even to the most vile of traitors should come from the barrel of a gun, not some awful gene transfer poison. Stoop down near him to look him in the eyes, well out of reach. Keep one hand on the butt of one of my guns. Draw icebreaker and hold it up to the light so he can read the incising on the blade. This belong to you? Be confused. Feel the hunger, it's all around me. It wants to consume, consume everything. Why? Why does it want me? I don't remember. Hunger all around, like a black tide. Only afloat because of another thing. Anger, pure and hot. What is even happening? Hear noises. Eyes open. Be drafter. Be awake now. Tide is gone. Anger is dulled. Whatever was watching me, its attention is elsewhere for the time being. Vision is blurry. See faint shapes all around me. Start to clear, and they fade away. All but one. See the sister. Looks like something out of an old picked vid I saw as a kid. Look into her eyes. She's. She's very. MMMMMM.MP3. Feel the drive again. She'd make a good mother. Just need to move quick enough. Then I see the knife. Cuts through the haze of lust. Get it hahaha <laughs> dot gif. That's my knife. Why is this chick of my knife? She's asking me something. Hand on her gun. Hand on icebreaker. That's not her knife. That was never supposed to be her knife. Anger burns. Hard to breath, but I'm not done in just yet. Spit at her. Yep. Fingers inching towards axe. Probably can't get it up in time, but doesn't mean I won't try when she decides to stop talking. I'm still the last crasher, at least for now. 
crash airs don't just quit. BTAU Watercast. Just return to this awful planet on order of ethereal. Why did he do this to me? Why did he forget to give me an escort? Managed to crash ship into pile of rubble because I can barely fly a ship, let alone land it. There are a lot of piles of rubble on this planet. Maybe I was supposed to pick up an escort? Head hurts. This planet makes my head hurt. Or maybe it's the crash? Currently, only the mission remains. Go do lewd things with any female human leaders that can be found. For some reason. Seriously, why am I doing this? Oh, right an ethereal told me to do it. I bet Farsight Enclave guys don't have to deal with this despair. Stumble out of the wreckage and wander around the ruins. This planet is mostly ruins and piles of rubble except for that big cathedral. That's probably where anybody with power is. With a weary sigh, I make my way towards it. They are going to shoot me on sight, aren't they? See a woman with bionic eyes smoking one of those LHO stick things. She also has a big gun and is wearing power armor. But it's my duty I'm going to die. Would you like to hear about the greater good? My face when I'm about to die. Be guardsman. Be feeling weird. Was out with friends drinking last night. Then, I don't know. Passed out, now I feel weird. Sergeant is looking at me funny. She thinks I'm off today or something. It feels like there's more out there. Feeling hot. One of my friends went missing. Nobody knows where he went. I miss him. Dear Emperor. Feeling weird. Feeling hot. Need to find relief. Everything's confusing. I stumble out of the barracks. Sergeant yelling after me. Desertion? What's that? I'm just. What am I doing? Why am I drooling so much? Why is the sergeant beating me so much? Oh right, disobeying orders. Luckily my friends pull the sergeant back and pin him to the floor. Sarge just needs to calm down. Sarge spits and struggles and screams and snarls. Says we'll be executed for insubordination. My friends drag her back inside and I lock the door behind us. I know why things have been feeling off now. I had forgotten about the family. Feeling dumb now. Daddy's going to be so proud of all of us. Be Sarah. This pathetic thing. Sitting in a puddle of his own vomit, and still trying to fight me. I can respect that. Stand back up and watch his hand reach slowly for his axe. As if I couldn't put a dozen holes in him from here before he even got up. Doubt he could even lift it in this condition anyway. The willpower to make it this long is admirable, but fighting the infection is making it worse on his body. He's looking at me with a strange kind of interest rather than the anger I expected. Like he isn't sure if he wants to devour me or tear my clothes off. Guess that's how it's supposed to work. Shift my hips back and forth and watch his eyes follow them. Maybe it will make him a little more amenable. I might be able to ease what ails you. But first I wanna hear everything you know about the Alpha Legion. Be Steel Legionnaire. Weird Elder Rock thing is glowing. Sergeant Commissa haven't noticed yet. Can't help but feel I'm being watched ever since the rock started to glow. I just hope it's not a bomb. Be Drafter. Be the last crasher. Be annoyed. Grip the haft of my axe. At least I still have you. This chick is asking me about something. What the feth is an Alpha Legion gif? I'm just some guy who got wrapped up in that bloody bishop's stupid war. I manage a shrug. Breathing is steadying. Still feeling watched, but it seems distracted for now. That's good. Let me think. Rasp out. I don't know what the feth you're talking about. Feel the hunger growing again. Better make this quick. Be Lloyd, so me and the boys just had to undergo a through examination by the docs. Apparently, since the higher ups got word that the gene stealers are more active, everyone at the base got rounded up for a surprise screening. They actually caught a few poor bastards who had gotten themselves infected and put em down. Although there's no telling how many of the bug fuckers bugged off before they could get captured. Ugh gene stealers, hate em. Screw them and their borophilic bullshit. Not literally though, EWW. Well anyways, since the boys and I weren't present for all that bullshit, we were all obviously clean. Although one of the docs wanted to keep Marcus around and study just how the fuck his liver was still functioning. So I am here, just walking around base when I see this guy. Wearing Blood Raiden themed armor. WTF. 
so I goes over there and drag this joker off to give him a piece of my mind. I mean, yeah that stuff didn't belong to us, and yeah we didn't really want it anyways. But you can't just go helping yourself people's stuff without asking. He doesn't even have the sense to look sorry while I am chewing him out. The whole time. He's just going on about he doesn't know what I am talking about, and how he just got here, and how he doesn't know where he got the armor. And he keeps faking these headaches too like he's trying to earn pity points. Bullshit. So I tell him to give the stuff back or he'll pry it off by force. He didn't take a likening to either of those and tried to fight me. A few minutes later, I am carry the stuff back to the shed after having dragged that knocked knucklehead back to the armory to get some proper equipment. Sheesh. The nerve of some people. It looks like we'll be having to keep an eye out for would be thieves as well as gene stealers. Beast car. Have brood brothers that are hiding amidst the soldiers start to be killed after genetic testing. Annoyance and anger. Bug. Contact brood brothers who have escaped purge of military by chance or skill. Order them to sabotage further genetic tests. Doesn't go perfectly. Many of the remaining brood brothers in the military die. However, many gene testing machine are severely damaged or have been hacked. Only thing better than a broken gene testing machine is one which gives false positives. Also managed to sneak infection into a few more important targets. A few medics to further sabotage genetic testing. Squad leaders. Even a commander or two. Military equipment is smuggled into the underground. I order a group of brood brothers to begin an insurrection against their commanding officers. They fail, but this was planned for. Their mission was not to seize control or do any serious damage to enemy. Their mission was to instill fear and paranoia. Hee 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 dot a line laugh. Continue to spread throughout civilian population. They can't jeans can all the tramps and hobos. Watching lovingly as first generation is born and begins to grow rapidly. Whoa, that psychic growth is amazing. Firstborn is already a toddler. Granddaddy's favorite boy dot proud. Be Medithab Synthium, High Priestess Apparent of Slanesh. Just managed to score some drugs to help with the headache. The demonette in my head has finally gone quiet as well. Might not have been such a good idea to repeatedly tell her to shut the fuck up, that'll probably bite me in the ass later. Just get a nice buzz going when guardsmen come to round everyone up. Some sort of plague or something. Fuck that, I ain't ever been sick anyway. Blessing of the Prince of Excess. Holy. Get up to the roof and just stay real quiet while I try to figure out where to go. There's some sort of cathedral in the distance. That's probably where the bitch sisterhood is going to be. Still need a plan to tempt them with, though. Be Palatine Barbastella, en route to the Undercity, in order to help with the gene stealer hunt the Golden Light are engaging in. I am accompanied by several squads of Black Sepulchre. They are uncharacteristically nervous. It is understandable. Certainly, death holds no terror for we who are already dead. But to have your body used for alien desires, your mind subsumed by its will, your very soul enslaved, and to be forced to live through every second of it? That is another matter. As such, for once we are all in full armor. It will not stop their claws, but full face helmets might spare us the horrors of the gene stealer's kiss. Our mission goals are to rendezvous with Palatine Sarah and the Golden Light, then begin the sweep for the Gene Stealer Nest. Perhaps we will cull them before they spread too far, but bitter experience tells me we are already too late. But duty demands we try. There is already a decontamination station set up by entrance, manned by Hospital Adelia. She nods to us as we enter, expression hidden behind her beak mask. Feel thankful knowing that she won't hesitate to kill any of us if we are compromised on exit. As we descend, I muse upon the fact that of all the fates one might meet in this blighted age, death is by far the most merciful. Almost as soon as we enter, the plan goes awry. We are informed that Palatine Sarah separated from the main group some time ago, going off alone into the tunnels. Apparently after some heretic straggler she encountered at the ill-fated wedding. Perhaps we have more in common than I thought. Clearly I'm not the only one with a death wish. Take a squad with me into the tunnels after her, leaving Sister Superior Ophelia to coordinate the joint operation in my absence. I just hope that what we find is still human. B. Sarah. Watch him lay his hand on the axe. Figured that's how he'd play it. Never heard of them. Big blue marines? Friends of your old fat buddy, I'd reckon. Three-headed snake on their shoulders? 
Hold up three fingers curved in imitation of Alpha Legion livery. See a glimmer of recognition in his eyes. He does know something. Got not qualms about blowing his head clean off, that's what I came for. But if he can help us solve bigger problems I do well to take advantage. The Emperor's justice is absolute, but it's also practical. I won't lie to you. You're a traitor and a heretic. You're going to get what you deserve one way or the other. He grips the chain axe tight and pulls it closer to him. Place my thumb on the hammer of my pistol, ready for him to try and charge me. Look at the axe, a sturdy old thing, probably made for a marine to swing in one hand before it made its way to him. It's covered in crude cornered markings. His own fastened tyrannid armor has none of the same. This one has no love for the blood god, I would bet on it. He was just glad to find something to fight for. But if you help me, I can make sure you meet your end on the right side of things. Be Drafter. Be the last crasher. The woman. She's talking about the big blue guy that almost grabbed me. Kek Dodgif. No harm in telling her I didn't want anything to do with him. No harm in telling her that he seemed to want to acquire the marines they killed. My friends. That they killed. She calls me a traitor and a heretic. I spit back at her. I am no heretic. I have nothing against the god emperor, only that childish imp that uses his authority. It's mostly true. I figured the god emperor is probably disappointed in my choices. For what it's worth, I didn't want to let him down. I just wanted to kill the bishop. And his wife. Then eat them. Consume their corpses and those of all their followers. Feth I'm getting off track again. Shake my head. She's still talking. So condescending. She's talking about meeting my end on the right side of things. I just give her a smile. Listen here, darling. Make sure to poorly imitate her accent, it's honestly kind of amusing. I'm not dying here, not yet. I'm being watched, and in the back of my mind, I know I'm not alone. Hear the voice, first one, then two, then many. Brother. The hissing comes only moments before the shots. More of those cultists, more of the family. Guess that's going to come in handy. They rush into the subway, sensing me their brother in danger. At least the bug gave me something useful dodgif. Bring up my axe. Not to attack. No. Use it as a shield as I roll around the pillar. Between the shit in on my body, and the axe head, so colossal, covering my head, I'm hoping I can avoid an instant kill shot. I let the mob of these deranged killers go after the sister. I thought she'd make a good member of the family. Apparently they did too. Consider sticking around. Consider joining in her initiation. But anger calls. And I'm not a part of the family. I'm still a crasher. And I still have my mission. Scurry up the stairs. Use this chance to make my escape. I know, I know, it's been a very long wait, but like, we're gonna go back to weekly cold shoulder episodes. I've missed it dearly. I don't know why, it just kind of got thrown out of track and like, you know, there's so much stuff happening and I don't know, but I want to get really back to it. A minimum of an hour of cold shoulder a week. And you know, the best thing is, we're only halfway through the third thread. There's six fucking threads in total. We're only halfway, like, Jesus fuck. But no, I, like, you know, honestly, I, I want to get back on track, because I do miss Olga very dearly. She is the best waifu, I forgot, or... Okay, maybe Bridget. Bridget's pretty good as well, but, like, you know, as far, as far as waifus go, the sisters are pretty high up there. But no, I really enjoyed Crusher and Sarah in this. I thought they stole it for me. Um, I really enjoyed the wee cat and mouse game they had going on. And, like, look, I'm not a big fan of the tie, but I really enjoyed that tie at Watercast. And the ethereal, I thought, I thought it was great, to be honest. I, you know, I, I forgot how much I enjoyed the cold shoulder because it's been a while since I've got it. You know what I mean? I, because I, I, I got it all. Like, I think the sixth thread came out about the same time I made the first video. So, you know, it's been a wee while since I've been over this stuff. But honestly, I forgot how much I enjoyed it. I really do. It's it's a lot of fun. I'm like, you know, like I hope you guys enjoy it too because like, you know, when we're like this is part fifteen and you guys are still coming back for it, you know, that says something. I think that really does say something. So like, you know, like um as always, remember subscribe, hit that notification bell to stay up to speed. Um like if we're on part we're on part fifteen here. And if you haven't somehow hit subscribe, 
just sort that shit out, mate. You know, just just get it sorted out. But like as always, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you guys have enjoyed and like more cold shoulder next week. Back to a more regular schedule. I hope to see. Anyway, all right. I'll talk to you later. If you haven't already, check out my Redbubble portfolio. You might just find something you like. This this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. This is cancer. This. This is so much cancer that I can feel the tumors growing on my back. And it's way down heavy on me, and it's not okay. Can you help a nigga out and just stop this? Please?